you going? Good, how are you going? I'm all right, thank you. I thought I'd come and check out your car wash. You've been talking about it, so um, tell me all about it. Yeah, no, um, it's going really, really well. I'll just turn off his hose. Okay. No, the, the car wash has been doing really well. A lot of good feedback. Cars are coming out extremely shiny. Um, and the thing I think we're different with other ones, the difference is that we get every little spot. They come out perfect. You don't walk around and say, miss that, that, that. We get it all. So even under, like, see, so you've got roof racks, like we go under the roof racks. No other car wash can get under there properly. So you'll end up, you'll end up very happy with the outcome. Fantastic. I'll just start my little spiel. That's all right. You've got, you've got right. a look at the menu there. Okay. Um, regardless of what wash you chose, you're going to be, I'm still going to be the pre-wash the same. Okay. But, uh, the most common one is the top wash, which is gold, which has got extreme shine wax, and then it adds rain -X as well. It's 23 bucks, but it's a bargain. You know, the right. outcome will be fantastic. I'll, so. go, I'll go for that one, Gary. Awesome. Thank you. So is my car the biggest car you do? No, no, we do. We do like to, um, it's actually 2.7, but we can squeeze a 2.8 through. Yep. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic machine. Um, the only one I know is the vehicles that fit. It's a small van, it's a small van. So, I know we have a lot of happy customers, especially with um, tall vans, we can't wash their roof. Uh, don't know if you can remove that, but I don't like having that on the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll get rid of those. That's one of the things about having... Um, like our, our wash team on duty, um, we actually look for things like that. The boys damage. Okay, yep, we'll get rid of those. So you hand wash it first? Yes, I go. Like, car washes can't get under here, so we make sure we get every little spot around the edges of the number plate. We'll move that later. You obviously can't get your own home bar, so we'll make sure we get a wash there. That's how you get your home We use lots of detergent and a little bit of um, a dish top washing liquid so it creates lubrication so we're not going to scratch the car. We make sure we lather them up. And as we've got several bunches. For so, all the different purposes. That's right, especially the ones down low, we, we make sure we clean them after every vehicle. Um, so we don't want to do that, make sure we do that, protect it at all times. This machine's great. Again, it, it was something that was concerning our staff will pick it. Everyone's very well trained and um, they, they do a great job. We've got one little special one front of you. So I know you're open to, from 7 to 8 because obviously I, I, that, right. it's during the week, yep. That's right, except it's Sundays, Sundays we um, open at 8 o'clock. But it's all weather dependent. If it's pouring with rain, obviously we do close up. We can't, we, we can't have staff here. We won't open, so we've got to make sure everyone's looked after and every car comes out really clean. And it looks like you've got all the stops here, Gary. You've also got a, a hand car, obviously the normal car wash process. Yes, so you can, got, yes. yes self serve car wash base, really, really well maintained. A lot of customers in that because they they love the way we keep our equipment. You know the um, the especially the hogs here brush. And it's quite expensive, and we change them regularly because we're going to keep everyone's juco nice. So also all of our um, all of our chemicals are the top you know, top the ones. Stuff. Yeah. What we're giving you today is like the armor. Um, it's going to have the extreme shine wax and really good. Um, the most expensive chemicals I know of anyway. Yep. And beak peach comb is just there as well. So once I get my car washed, I can always fuel up and- That's it. Great. Exactly. So is that where you sit, Gary, when there's no customers? Well, usually we're either there or that's where customers sit when they don't like going in the wash because of their machine, because the European machine, they've got the choice of parking in the car, paying outside and, and just waiting with it if they had a nervous dog or kid that didn't want to go in. Uh, well, they're claustrophobic, they'd be quite happy to sit there and read a book, um, yep. which is something you can't do with a big American machine. It's not a very nice day, and it's been extremely busy, so we must be doing something right. Yep, good. All right, Gary, so I've removed the um, the excess plastic that could go flying. So tell me, um, obviously, it's a good thing that we removed that. You, 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 you spotted it, you advised me to get rid of it. Yep. Um, what, what happens if I had a ladder on my roof racks or... 
you, you had lately, and you can't really go through, um, but, but one good thing coming up, we've got a, a touch-free car wash that's um, going to be here by the end of April. Yep. So that's, that'll be able to do what like, trading cars, it can do uh, one of the washes called Splash and Dash. It goes, in, the whole machine, it run, goes all around the vehicle, all the perimeters of it, whether it's a ladder or whatever it is. Also, if it, like Utes that haven't got a, a, like a proper um, cover on the back, uh, can do things like that. It's really good. So when's that coming? That's going to be operating by the end of April, hopefully. 2021. Yep. Fantastic. And so um, I also noticed that, you know, the bull bar can go through, correct? Uh, uh, bull bars are a, a problem. Some, some of them are, some of them aren't. Also ones with large aerials like the big four-wheel drives. Other four-wheel drives too with the big air snorkels. Yep. Um, you'll find that they're not, not advised to go through a machine that's got um, brushes. So the touch three are perfect for them. So the good thing is you're, you guys are here, you know, seven days a week. Yeah. Um, basically just washing the car beforehand, advising the client whether or not they can go through. That's it. And it's all peace of mind. And if they can't, then there's the other facilities there options. as well. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. So so um, what about aerials? I've got a little aerial on the back there. Um, no, you haven't aerial. said anything about that? Small aerials are fine. Yep. Those great big ones for the four-wheel drives or whatever, that, again, they've got to be taken off. Uh, or again, the touch-free wash will be the go in the uh, end of April. All right, great. So what's what happens now? Um, she's she's pre-washed? Yep, yep. We're going to lead you in there. Go, red light, that's time to stop. So, car in park, handbrake on, window up, and enjoy the show. <laughs> 